Atlassian is always making changes to their UI and this particular change that I'm going to demonstrate in this video is a really cool and welcome change that I definitely think you are not going to want to miss out on. Let's jump into Jira and let's take a look. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out those links down in the description as I have merch store and I have paid courses and a bunch of different ways that you can help support this channel, including a membership so that I can help you with your Jira problems. All right, let's jump into Jira and let's take a look. So if you're in a scrum or Kanban board, you know that you can change the lanes. You know that you can change and manipulate the swim lanes, which basically means I can alter the way these stories that are in my sprint are viewed. Now, this is not new. In fact, I'm going to take a second here to show you the traditional way of altering your swim lanes because it is, I wouldn't say it's an involved process, but it does require you to know where and how to do this. And let me show you an example. So traditionally, before this UI update, if you wanted to alter, maybe you want to group by the epic, or maybe you want to group by the assignee or a query or by the story, you would have to click on the ellipses over here, go to configure board, you would then have to go over to swim lanes on the left, wait for this UI to load, and then you would select your method here and you can do from this drop down here. And if you wanted to do epics, you would click on it, then back to the board and you know that you always forget to check that top right corner because every single time I ask somebody, they never want to click back there. And so it's a little bit annoying to get to this result where you now have your swim lanes, your horizontal lines broken up by epic. But wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be awesome if you didn't have to do that step every single time that you wanted to just alter the view? Well, luckily Atlassian has heard our pleas and they've announced this really, really cool new feature that you definitely want to give it a try because it is such a time saver. Being able to save those seconds, not having to click, go to configure board. Maybe you're not even an admin, so maybe you can't even see that board, right? Because maybe you're not a board administrator. Well, Atlassian has an answer for you now. So it might not be in your jury yet, but keep your fingers crossed and hopefully at last we we'll roll it out to you. This is something that is being gradually rolled out. It is not in all of my Jira projects, so definitely keep an eye out for it. And when it is, shout with excitement. Let me know in the comment section if it is enabled in yours, because I'm curious to see how many Jiras have it and what Atlassian's rollout looks like. So let me know in the comment section if you already have this group by feature. But let's talk about it. So what exactly am I talking about? So if you look in your board right here next to insights below the number of days remaining in your sprint, you're going to notice that you have a brand new group by button. And when you click on this button, you're going to be able to basically see the same options that we have inside of that configure board without, very important, without having to go into that and without needing to be a board administrator. So now quickly, just by clicking buttons, I can simply change it to assignee. Maybe I can change it to my stories or I can change it to projects, whatever makes sense. But all those options that were over there are now available with a very simple drop down. And this, my friends, is basically coming straight out of the team managed and those Jira work management projects where you can manipulate that grouping in the UI. So I'm, this is a very, very, very welcome change that Atlassian has brought over to these company managed Scrum and Kanban boards. I very, very much welcome this change because again, it's saving me time and time is money. And any time that I can basically do this change or this manipulation without having to lose my context, right? Because when you're in the heat of the moment and you're trying to alter the view and you're trying to say, hey, well, which epics are in progress or, or what, what's the breakdown by assignee? And then you have to stop, go over to the configure board change the setting, remember to hit the dumb back to board button and then come back to the UI. That precious two, three seconds completely disrupted your context. You lost a train of thought and it's just very disrupting. So this right here, my friends, is a very welcome change. I hope you have it. I'm hoping that it's in your Jira already because especially if you're relying consistently on going to that configured board to change that grouping, you don't have to go there anymore. So this is a really, really cool change that quickly, quickly, you're just able to change it very, very easily just by clicking around. And so that's it for this video. Very, very short ones. Just wanted to highlight this really cool new feature. And if you made it to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you take a second here to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, if you're asking or wondering, how can I help support this channel? Well, the link's down in the description. I have a merch store. I have a podcast called The Jira Life. So if you're looking for a community, where you can really be involved, right? Not just ask questions, but really belong to a group of individuals that love Atlassian. Make sure you check out the Jira Life. This is my weekly podcast that I host. 
with the Jarrett guy and my producer, uh, Robert Wen, and we are just have a blast. We talk to various members of the Alaskan community. We can even talk to you. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you reach out to us on LinkedIn or on social media. We'd be more than happy to have you on the podcast. And don't forget to check out my paid courses as well. I have free courses. Everything's in that link tree down in the description down below. So don't forget to check it out. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.